Welcome to your final module before we start working on scripts. So this last module is a very important one because we have to define what sockets are. So we're going to be using sockets to connect two nodes together. Really, that's it. In more layman's terms, what we're doing is we're going to use sockets to connect to an open port and IP address. So you're going to see this when we build a port scanner. You're also going to see this later on in the exploit development portion of the course where we have to reach out to a specific port and IP address, establish a connection and send malicious data. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just build out a simple socket script and we're going to connect to an open port with that script and it'll start to make sense. And then when you see it in the next video, when we build out the port scanner, make a little bit more sense and then you see it again in the course, you're going to say, hey, I remember that we use sockets for connecting to ports. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a file and call the file s.py. You can call it whatever you want. Just do not call it socket.py. If you call it socket.py, you're going to run into issues because it's going to think it is a socket. So we need to define a couple of things first. So what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, shebang up top, do our bin Python three, and we're going to import socket. So remember, importing is important. We have to import socket up here at the top. Now let's define a couple of variables. So the first variable we're going to say is host. And we're just going to give that our local address here of 127001. This is our local host. And we're going to define port. And I'm just going to give mine all sevens. You can give it whatever you'd like here. And I'm going to define another variable like this, s equals socket dot socket, socket dot af inet, socket dot sock underscore stream. Now this looks long and intimidating. Please do not be intimidated by this. We are just making our life easier on ourselves. So we're defining a variable that stores all this into one. And this is very, very common when it comes to sockets. You're, the syntax here is very common. So what we're saying is, hey, we want s to equal socket dot socket and this socket af inet socket sock stream. So af inet, just think about that as IPv4. We're connecting over an IPv4 connection. Socket dot sock stream, you could just think of this as a port. So af inet. IPv4, sock stream, it's a port. So let's say we want to make a connection. We're going to say s.connect. Now connect is just another part of the socket module. So we're going to make a connection here. And so if you think about this, we're using all this and then dot .connect, right? So we're declaring this and then we have these two parameters here, socket AFI net, socket sock stream. So the AF inet, we need to say, hey, let's make this a our host variable, and then this one our port variable. And we could, in theory, just put in 7777 and 127001, but it's just easier to define those in a variable up top and then use them later to connect. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then I'm going to open up a new terminal in a new window here. And I'm going to utilize a tool that we have not used before. And this tool is called netcat and we'll use this later on in the course quite a bit. So we'll say netcat and I'm just going to say NDLP. This means I'm going to establish a listening port. I'm going to listen on port 7777 for a connection. So you see here it says, hey, we're listening on any interface for all sevens. You don't have to worry too much about this right now. We're going to go into detail on netcat at a later time. But all we're doing right now is we're waiting for anybody to connect to us. Now here we're sitting at our local host of 127001. So we need to establish that connection, which is what we're going to do with this script. Now the script does nothing. It establishes a connection and that is it. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. We're just going to say Python three s dot pi. Do that. Come over here and you see that we had an established connection made and then the connection closed. We didn't tell it to do anything. There's nothing here to say, hey, keep this connection open, send over some data, do anything at all. We just said, hey, make a connection really quick. 
and it did. It made a connection from 127001 to 127001. We connected to ourselves. But with this script, we have successfully achieved what we wanted to, which was to utilize sockets to connect one node to another node. That's it. So we're going to build upon this whole thing here in the next lesson. We're going to build a port scanner. It's going to be a bad port scanner, but it's still going to be a great lesson. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that port scanner and I'll catch you in the next video.